Trading in the Zone by Mark Douglas. In this channel, I've covered many aspects of trading, from trading strategies to position sizing and risk management. But I've yet to dive deep into trading psychology and thinking in terms of probabilities, the thing that will make or break you as a trader. In the career of a trader, a trader experiences a wide range of emotions, from fear to anger to confusion and even overconfidence. Mark points out that consistent winners execute their trades without emotions. And technical or fundamental analysis requires us to adopt the right mental state. This stresses the importance of the third kind of analysis required to master trading. Mental Analysis In today's video, I will do a summary of the important takeaways from Mark Douglas' book, Trading in the Zone. Every trader approaches trading with a positive expectation that they will make money, otherwise why would they even bother trading? They are consciously aware that when a trade is placed, there is a chance that they could be wrong. And here in lies what is really happening deep down. The trader does not expect to lose because otherwise, why would he take the trade in the first place? So what happens when this turns into a string of losses that goes against this expectation? Well, it causes a surge of emotions which may take the form of anger or disbelief or despair. It makes the trader feel as if the market is out to get him. Contrast this to how a professional trader approaches the market. A professional trader embraces the fact that he will encounter both winning and losing streaks. But because he has a strategy that has an edge, he knows that over a large number of trades, he will win on balance. He views losses just like the necessary expenses that come with running a business. Every trader is aware that there is an element of risk, but does every trader really accept the risk? or even entertain the thought that this trade may lose them money? Mark Douglas calls this the psychological gap. The gap between assuming that a trader accepts the risk to fully embracing the risk. The best traders in the world know that every trade is a random event and suffering a series of losing trades does not deter them from executing their next trade. Similarly, a consecutive series of winners does not lead them to be complacent and mismanage their risk. The hardcore reality of trading is that every trade has an uncertain outcome and is independent of the past trades that you have taken. Unless you learn to completely accept the possibility of an uncertain outcome, it will be very hard to succeed as a trader. Mark Douglas provides five fundamental truths to help you embrace risk and uncertainty. Number one, anything can happen. Number two, you don't need to know what is going to happen next to make money. Number three, there is a random distribution between wins and losses for any given set of variables that define an edge. Number four, an edge is nothing more than an indication of a higher probability of one thing happening over another. And number five, every moment in the market is unique. Once a, trader, once a trader fully accepts these truths, he will be comfortable with dealing with uncertainty and therefore be able to trade in the zone, a zone where the trader is not fearful of making mistakes or losing money. Money comes easy as he executes his strategy flawlessly. Contrast Mark Douglas' fundamental truths to the gambler's fallacy, a fallacy which is a belief that a statistically independent event is affected by the previous set of events. Suppose we do a series of coin tosses. Logically, we know that there is a 50% chance of the coin landing hits and 50% chance of the coin landing tails. Suppose that the first five tosses results in five consecutive hits. Do you think the next to toss is more likely to be hits? Logically, you know that there is no change in the probability even if the past 5 tosses were all hits. 
the previous coin tosses have no bearing on the next toss. This is what is known as the gambler's fallacy. But how does this relate to trading? Well, when a trader loses 5 trades in a row, he may very well conclude that his strategy is not working or that the market is weak against him. Conversely, if all his 5 trades were winners, he would conclude that he has a perfect trading strategy and form an unrealistic expectation about trading. At the first sign of a drawdown, he abandons the system thinking that it is no longer working. In either case, whether it was 5 consecutive winners or losses, the sample size is too small to make any judgement on the profitability of the system. The key message here is that regardless of the outcome of the previous trades, it does not influence the success of the next trade. Essentially, each trade is completely independent of one another. Mark Douglas stresses the importance of accepting that each trade is completely random and this relates to the third fundamental truth which states that there is a random distribution between wins and losses for any given age. Once you have fully embraced this fact and view the market from a probabilistic perspective, then you will know that the next couple of trades might turn out to be losses. And naturally, you will predefine your risk and size your positions accordingly. You will also know that if you execute your strategy flawlessly over a large sample size, you will likely make a profit. And this helps you stay calm as you go through a series of losses, an event that you already know will happen. According to Mark Douglas, trading in the zone means being in a carefree state of mind, a state where you are confident but not euphoric, a state of mind where you don't feel any fear, doubt or compulsion to do anything as you wait for the market to come to you. This happens when you have effectively eliminated the potential to define and interpret market information as threatening and when you truly accept the risk, you will be at peace with whatever the market chooses to do. To help you develop this carefree state of mind when trading, Mark Douglas provides 7 principles of consistency. Number 1. Objectively identify your age. You need to be able to identify what setup constitutes an age. For example, you might be looking to trade a pullback after a breakout. Be as clear and detailed as possible. There are many trading strategies taught in this YouTube channel, so free, feel free to use one that suits you. Number two, predefine the risk of every trade. If you truly accept that your next trade is random and there is a possibility that you will lose money, why would you not define your risk? Predefine your risk involves setting in a stop loss and sizing your positions. Number three, Learn to completely accept the risk associated with trading so that you will not be surprised if the trade ends up being a loser. Be willing to let go of the trade. Number four, execute your trading strategy without reservation or hesitation. Number five, pay yourself as the market makes itself available to you. Number six, Continually monitor your susceptibility for making errors and correcting any bad habits that are costing you money. And finally, principle 7, which is to understand the absolute necessity of this principle and to never violate them. Mark Douglas points out that 95% of the trading errors you are likely to make will stem from your attitude about being wrong losing money, missing out and leaving money on the table or what he calls the four primary trading fears. These four trading fears will counteract your ability to trade with a carefree state of mind and enter the zone. In summary, you want to pay attention to your state of mind when trading and operate from a carefree state of mind. Remember that anything can happen and every moment in the market is unique. Therefore, it is important to approach trading from a probabilistic perspective and embrace risk. You can't be certain of how the market will move, but you can be certain that the market will never be certain.